everyone what's going on welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review because today i got a early screener from the awesome people over at shudder to check out a movie premiering on their platform this month and it is called the twin i only saw kind of the movie poster and i read the synopsis and you know i was very curious about this because i love horror and i am always curious as to when they kind of do like a ghost possession kind of based movie and what these movies are going to do differently to this kind of oversaturated type in this genre so i was very curious to see what tonelli mustanen was going to really provide because this is a director i am unfamiliar of and this is the first time i've ever seen any of their works because this stars the likes of Teresa palmer stephen cree barbara martin and tristan ruggeri so the biggest one i know out of those names is Teresa palmer who has been in a couple of movies i've seen like light out just as an example and when i read the plot synopsis because this movie is all around Teresa palmer and stephen cree's character who plays rachel and anthony they are parents and they have twins elliot and nathan who is actually played by tristan ruggeri by the way when they have their twins unfortunately one day a horrific accident happens where they lose one of the lives of the twins so as kind of like a result of this and kind of to have some time of healing they move to this quiet scandinavian countryside but what turns out to be this kind of like time of healing basically doesn't mean that it becomes very ominous so what can i honestly say about the positives for the twin well i will admit that the cinematography in this is one of the biggest highlights I can give because this is filmed in Tallinn, Estonia that I read up on. The set locations and the beautiful countryside really gives it this kind of ambiguous vibe where at times it looks very peaceful and at times it looks the furthest thing from peaceful and I really felt like they used and kind of echoed in on this location setting supported by the cinematography use is some good acting all around i definitely got to give some praise to tristan gary who plays both elliot and nathan which i didn't even know about till after the movie yeah that little kid has definitely got potential and in the future i'd love to see what projects they become a part of because definitely some promise was shown in this performance and of course the main leads are Teresa palmer and stephen cree yeah i think they did a pretty good job especially as these parents especially Teresa of Palmer as of course this horrific incident happens at the beginning of the movie and this is not a spoiler it's in the trailer and this is what the plot synopsis is all around but she really helps carry over this script which is also written by Teneri Musadin she really plays this grieving mother and you can tell that she's lost a lot she's trying to kind of recuperate over that and she's trying to really have this time of healing and kind of trying to accept the fact that one of the twins is gone. You kind of really feel for her character throughout because you're like, well, this poor woman has lost one of her children. And because of that, you see the grief that she's constantly facing throughout this movie. And the supporting main role in this movie by Stephen Cree as dad who plays Anthony. Yeah, I think that he did it good job as well i definitely think Teresa palmer was kind of the standout in terms of the adults and yeah i think this movie at odd times did a couple of things to separate itself from again this kind of oversaturation of horror type because there's so many kind of ghost and possession based movie you have to stand out from the rest and i think at times this movie did execute that where i would say in terms of my negatives falling although there was times where this stood out i don't feel like it had its full identity to really separate itself from everything else that's in this subgenre in the horror and and that's a bit of a shame because as i mentioned the cinematography use was utterly breathtaking i really admired what they did and that's a big shout out to daniel lindholm and then the music done by pano altio if i've got that correctly it's really kind of creepy music whether it is just kind of like soft subtle tones or whether it is the music that kind of amplifies in kind of like a tense moment that's all done pretty well but then the issue is as i said this movie kind of feels to have its own identity and I feel like until the kind of the last act is revealed and something happens, the movie at time I felt was trying to get too convoluted or trying to do something too clever. And I kind of wish it didn't go in that route. It had something that could have been different and brought something different. But I just think ultimately the movie kind of missed the opportunity on that mark. So my overall score for The Twin is... 
So have you seen this movie? Are you going to be checking it out on Shudder? Let me know anything about the movie in the comment section below and let me know what your thoughts were of the twin. If you do check it out or if you feel like you may check it out or you're going to skip it, let me know either way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.